In this video, I'm going to show my UV curing box that I use for curing 3D resin printed parts. And it's really simple, dirt simple. I mean, it's not beautiful, but it works. It's functional. So this started off life as a, just a Tupperware Rubbermaid container of sorts. Um, has some clips on the ends, but you can use any container that you want of the right size that you, that you would like. And the first step I did was I cut a hole in the lid and attached this 20 watt, 405 nanometer UV LED on here. And specifically this UV LED, I purchased it from Peel Poly and it's a 405 nanometer. And you can use any 405 nanometer LED that you find. You could use a different style LED, but it just has to be 400, about 405 nanometer to do the proper curing. I purchased from Peel Poly because I trusted that their UV LEDs that they were sourcing were of good quality, but this is a fairly generic housing for a 20 watt LED. And then on the inside of the plastic box, I lined it with reflective aluminum tape. So this is just your ductwork tape. It's a little bit, has some rigidity to it and just covered the whole inside of it. I used some alcohol here to wipe off the red markings on there just to add a little bit of extra reflectiveness. And what that does is it just bounces the UV around a lot. So it tries to cover all the sides of the part when you're curing there. In addition, I use this little solar powered rotating stand that allows me to put my objects on here and I added some reflective tape underneath such that the UV will bounce off the bottom and also cure the bottom of the part so I don't have to rotate or turn these parts over while they're curing. So this goes inside of the box here and then I can also put some water containers sometimes in there if I need to, if I have a special UV resin that needs to be cured under water, it's like oxygen inhibited resin, but most of the time I just cure on top of this platform. So we put that inside of the box there, you can see just the you can see just the lights from the room are making it rotate already. And then I put my cover on top and cure. You can see that where the UV is only escaping from where there are spaces between the tape. So if you really don't want any UV to escape, you can make sure that, every, that the tape is all um, overlapping each other. And here you'll see like how fast that spins with the UV. So it spins a lot faster. And you can see the reflection on, on the bottom on top of the solar turntable where it's going to cure the bottom of the part too. That's it. And I usually run that for five, 10 minutes or so. I don't have a timer on it. I could set a, I could set a timer on this to, to, to just run it for a set period of time. That would actually be better so I don't over cure parts. But I generally just set it in here and then come back a few minutes later and take, out, take the parts out. 